uh, we're gonna see what he's talking about. He's been uh, kind of low key for a while, but uh, he is uh, talking about his new movie he directed. Let's check it out. If I'm on live, excuse me, excuse me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah, it's been quite some time. I had to uh, commandeer her Instagram because I no longer, I no longer operate mine. Uh, I've been on a social media sabbatical, you know what I mean, abstaining from all of the, the you know, the, I guess the ego serving Instagram scrolling and all that stuff, man. But, hey, look, I want to say to y'all, man, I appreciate y'all, everybody. That came out, man, to the to the uh, the private screen in the apartments last night, and extra special thanks to everybody who who got bad internet connection. In house. Came out for uh, or, or went and, and downloaded, ordered your own copy. You dig what I'm saying? I appreciate all y'all, man. Um, thank y'all for uh, just you know supporting the vision. I appreciate y'all for everything, man, and um, just, you know, everybody who really ain't aware of what I'm talking about, man, I'm talking about departments, man. Departments, uh, film, independently released, uh, directed by me, wrote by by me and, and Champ and uh, Tyler and Ronnie and Ha Ha Mafia, uh, produced by DC Young Fly and myself. Hmm. Executive produced by Lil Duval, Carlos Miller. Yeah, you know I mean, um, you know, uh, starring some of the funniest and talented people that live in Atlanta. You feel me? Uh, if you don't know, the si hey, look, man, you should go to uh, go to my bio. I believe it's in my wife's bio. Um, uh, but but the site is depart. What is called? Department. Departments four o four dot com. Yeah, departments d a p a r t m e n t s dot film. All right, oh. or departments four o four dot com. Mm -hmm. So both of those sites take you to both of those uh, 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 URLs will take you to. So T.I., I guess, is trying to move more into the filmmaking game now, huh? Cool. Both of those URLs will take you to the website, and uh, you can download your own copy, $4.99 to rent, $9.99 to buy. You feel me? Ten bucks, ain't bad. And to buy it. we love you. We appreciate you. And everybody who on here who think anybody owe you an explanation about anything going on in our personal life, you need to get your life in order. Love. All right. <laughs> Watch yourself. I'm hey man, listen. Uh, I saw the trailer for it. It's it, it, it kind of you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and support it because this is a complete. You know, this is an independent black owned film, so I'm gonna support it. I'm gonna buy me a copy, and I probably end up coming back and doing a review on it. But I can tell from the trailer, the comedy is very. Uh, I don't want to say urban because that's not. That's kind of putting it. It's kind of putting it in a, like a nutshell, but I don't, it's kind of like that Friday trying to make you, I, I hate those black comedies where it's all hood jargon, where they, they're, they feel like, you know, they have to try to make you laugh. Like you a comedian say something funny here and just keep trying to make me laugh. There's really like no, like there's really like no story. And then the funny just comes naturally, you know, like for instance, I saw a movie. Well, I, I just watched the trailer, but I am going to support it because I like to support it. I like this is what T.I. doing, so I am going to buy a copy. And uh, just, you know, just uh, it's 10 bucks. You know, it's 10 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a copy just to support it because I like this movement that T.I. is doing. And like, you you know, and they, if you look at the trailer, y'all can go and watch the trailer. I think the trailer is on YouTube. You know, you can tell it has a very modest budget, you know, for the movie. It's very modest. Um. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to support it, but I, I can already tell by looking at it, it's not my cup of tea. 
you know, sort of like that um, I got the hookup type of thing, you know, where it's they feel like they have to. It's almost like they put a bunch of comedians in a movie and just let them ad lib without really like no structure. They just feel like, OK, you pop in, you hot, you funny. People are going to laugh on whatever you say. But the, but the comedy is not really structured. It's not really. It's almost like like is it, I mean, I'm not no saying this about the apartments, but I can just tell by the trailer that it's it's leaning towards that way, that Friday type of thing. Although it's funny, I was watching Friday the other day. Friday is actually a it's I hate to say this, it's a classic and I and I hold it dear and near as a classic. And when I watch it, I can it's more nostalgic than it is. Um I find it funny now because I am more mature. That movie came out what, twenty five years ago? I'm more mature than I was when I when I now when it came out, I was a teenager. I thought Friday was the most hilarious movie in the world. So did me and my friends. We went to go see it. But if you look at if you look at the movie now from a more older, mature eyes, the comedy is just like this is kind of corny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's actually kind of corny. And I think that Ti, I think a lot of Ti and a lot of these, you know, a lot of these cats, you know, um, DC Young Fly was very funny. I think they feel like oh, just this, this, just do like that Friday type style where we just we make a situation, we build a situation with a little bit of dialogue. And then we let the comedians just ad lib and they're going to be funny because they comedians. It's cool to ad lib. Jim Carrey does it. And then you don't want to pigeonhole your comedian, but you got to kind of have it structured. You kind of got to have the comedy structure and you don't have to have it. every second got to be funny. And I, I hate those movies where they feel like they have to try to be funny every minute of the movie. They got to be funny. So they're just letting sometimes the comedy kind of build up. Don't make it where it's boring, but you can make it where. You know, okay, you ain't got to be funny every every two minutes. You can be funny maybe every ten minutes, and then, and then that funny after the ten minutes, uh, you will get more of a oh, but it's like you you will get more of a of a laugh than that uh, like than just a little bit of chuckle that you are gonna get from you just letting them ad lib every couple of minutes because you want to make the movie just funny, 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 funny. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, uh huh, oh that's cute, oh that's funny, uh huh. Like, you know what I'm saying? You you just chuckling at you're not really, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give y'all an example of a classic comedy that I can watch. I Me and my friend were just talking about this movie too. Um, something about Mary with Ben Stiller. That movie, I think it was written by him too. Ben Stiller is hilarious. Something about Mary is the most funniest movie in the world, and it's well written, and it's not. <laughs> it's just. The way is the characters in it are funny without trying to be funny. They're just average people. The characters are just regular people, but they just have little funny situations. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that just is that I just watched the movie. That movie is still funny, and that movie came out. And see, that's what happens when you make make a movie that's a timeless classic comedy. That's not just okay. This is for this type of crowd. And that's it. You know, you can mature. I watched that movie. When Something About Mary came out, I think I had just graduated high school. I was about maybe 17, 18. So I was still a teenager. Friday came out maybe three years before that. But I could still watch. I could watch Something About Mary and and be laughing my behind off. And I'm in my 40s. And when I saw it. I laughed my behind out and I was a teenager. I would laugh my behind off when I was a teenager. Friday, I watched it. And it's, I only watch it because it's it's nostalgia. I went on a date when I went to go see it. I went to see it twice, once with my homeboys. So when I watch it, I kind of think about the memories I had when I went to go see it. You know what I'm saying? Versus the actual comedy. Because you watch the comedy, like, this is kind of, I was watching Friday, I'm like, this is kind of corny now. You know, or or maybe because I done watched it so many times. I think every black person in America has watched Friday at least 20 times, at least 20 times, <laughs> you know, old and young, you know, but I don't know, but I'm looking forward to this man, T.I. directing now. So I'm looking forward to supporting this brother and y'all should too. Y'all should go and check it out. Um, leave your comments. What y'all think about this, man? Give me a thumbs up, buddy. Take care.